Hi, super mamas. Welcome back to my channel. Watch my previous video to know who I call super mamas. If you are new, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that when I put up a content, you will be the first ones to know. I am glad you spared time. There is noise where I am, but I have been waiting for it to go away. People are doing a procession and I think they decided to come in my neighborhood today so i am sorry i hope you can understand yeah now in this episode i'm sharing qualities of a super mama okay 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 a super mama super mama because this one you need all the encouragement you can i've written them down so i'll be reading them one by one i hope you pick out if you find you are any of these things well done. Consider yourself a super mama because because see raisi, it's not easy. Yeah. Number one quality of a super mama is consistency. These are qualities that are entirely my opinion. I came up with the word super mama, so the qualities are my descriptions. And I would like to know what you think is to be considered super so tell me in the content sec comment sections as well okay quality number one is consistency if you are to bring up a human being well mannered well cultured you have to be consistent in whatever you are teaching them <clears throat> if you say not touching the tv you have to be consistent there not touching the TV. Every time they do touch the TV, you, you remind them. If you they need some spanking here and there, you do it. You cannot say today not touching TV, tomorrow you let it slide. They will know there's something we can do. And children are very manipulative, by the way, let me tell you parents. Children are very manipulative. Right from when they are born. Right from when they are born. If you are breastfeeding, you will notice. That the child at a quicker stage and a kuma to kwangalia smile. E? And they are very tiny. They are waiting for your reaction. If you smile along with them, they will know I can bite mama and nothing will happen. If they know at that age that they can cause you some little pain, if you don't tell them this causes pain, then they grow up, they will know there's something I can do, bad, bad thing I could do, and mom will smile along. Don't be a very permissive parent. So if you're teaching discipline or teaching any other thing, teaching letters, teaching the, those of us, <laughs> watch out for my story I'll be sharing with you. How crazy I was with my firstborn. I wanted my, my one month old to be speaking Spanish, talking Latina. <laughs> watch out for that video, by the way. If you want your child to know letters here and there, you'll have to be consistent in teaching them because their brain is empty. It's a muscle like uh, these cartoons. I think one of them has called the brain a muscle. And they say if you train your muscle very frequently, consistently, it will grow stronger. Just like you, if you knew how to cook chapati 10 years ago and you've stayed for 10 years without cooking chapati, not even once, I don't know. Tell me in the comment section. Will you still be able to cook the chapati after 10 years of not trying? I don't know. So you need to be very consistent, especially in teaching. And teaching a child requires a lot of repetition. Yeah? It requires a lot of repetition. So you repeat, you repeat, and you don't get tired. You repeat, you repeat, you repeat. Okay? Consistency is a very good quality of a super mama. Number two, hardworking. You need to be very hardworking. Hardworking. Hardworking here, yeah, I mean. If, like I've shared, uh, have I told you why I consider, yes, I must have mentioned in one of these videos. I consider myself a super mama for those who are new and watching this video for the first time because I am a mother of two and I think I'm young. As you know, it's baby fat. It's baby fat. Night Aisha, by the way. <laughs> I think I'm fairly young. And at my age, I have a mother of two, which is not bad. Which is not bad. It's very good. I feel nice. I don't have a nanny. 
I'm a full time hustler looking for money. You know, you need money to raise children. Children are very expensive. Don't hey, let me tell these teenagers out here. If you already have a child, welcome on this journey. We will walk it together with you. Yeah? Yeah, regardless of whatever circumstances. We will walk together with you because the child is here. But if you don't have a child and you're a teenager, you do not have a source of income, my friend. Abstain from any activities that might make you have a child. Okay? Because a child is very expensive. <laughs> if you want your child to grow up, unless you just want to let them grow. But if you want your child to grow up decently, properly, well, well-dressed even, well-fed even, it's very costly. Yeah? And uh, so I'm a, I hustle. I hustle here and there. Maybe one of these videos I'll tell you what I do. <laughs> what I do. So... I think it's a lot of work and I'm a mom, a wife, a hustler, a housekeeper, a homemaker. So I think I consider my a daughter and a daughter-in-law. Who? A mentor. So I, I consider myself a super mama because of all those things. And to balance all these things, there is no room for laziness. Ooh, you wake up early and sleep fairly late to keep a clean house and all that. And I'll be sharing with you how I've, why I don't have a nanny and also how I've managed without a nanny this far. Upcoming episodes, so watch out, okay? So, you work hard. You ha it's, it's an intentional decision to make that if I am to manage all these things, I have to commit my mind, my brain to working hard. Working hard in looking for money probably or working hard in balancing all these things if you are to be any of them. So shout out to all those women who are managing it by themselves. Well done, super mamas and dads, super dads. Number three quality of a super mama is you remember to self-care. Self-care as a... Have I shown you self-care? If I've not shown you, watch out. It's coming up shortly, but the video is ready. Self-care, how... You can get stressed. Raising a child after their after delivery can become very lonely. The first three months or four or so can become lonely and can change the rest of your life. Because sometimes you want people to visit and people are saying the child is poor. Or sometimes people call. By the way, if you know someone who has just had a child, visit them. Help them clean the house. Don't visit them to drink tea and give them diapers. Not that it is bad. It is good. It is good if you visit and give diapers. But go early as well so you help them wash utensils, smooch up a story for one hour. It can help that woman kick postnatal depression away forever. If you go visiting a woman who just had a child, you are waiting for them to bring you tea. offense but it can really be a lonely moment for you as a super mama so you have to be intentional about your self-care it can really be involving involving child is demanding this husband is also wondering because they also just got born a father was born with a child so he's still expecting you to be the girl he married <laughs> It can really be stressful. So you have to be intentional about your self-care. Self-care. And I've said, identify things that bring joy to you. That bring joy to you. And maximize. Create 10 minutes for them. 5 minutes for them. 20 minutes for them. An hour for them when baby is asleep. Do it. Self-care is very important to kick postnatal depression away, but also just to help you maintain your sanity because a super mama needs all the sanity they can have access to. So a super mama remembers to self-care. Number five, what whatever number, a super mama is very knowledgeable. You cannot raise a child without knowledge. You need knowledge 
on how to keep colic away. You need knowledge on the foods to eat to increase breast milk. You need knowledge on how to care for yourself. You need knowledge, emotional intelligence. As a super mama, you need knowledge. So venture, set out to study. Venture into new fields, study. Learn what to do, developmental milestones of your child. You need to know, is my child doing what he should be doing at this age? Not that every child is the same, but at least there's something all children must show by the time when they get to two. Otherwise, you would not have things like stunted growth. How will they know a baby is stunted? You need knowledge on nutrition, now that I've mentioned stuntedness. You need knowledge on nutrition, what to feed your toddlers, what to feed your babies at what age. You need knowledge, okay? Let's wait for that noise to fade. You need knowledge, super mama. You cannot just expect the child to grow. So if you are there, sitting, sitting, sitting what? Sitting, sitting pretty. Sitting pretty. <laughs> nah, no room for sitting pretty. For a super mama, if you at all want to bring up children that are well cultured, okay? You need knowledge on how to teach them. You need knowledge. You cannot teach a child ABCD and you don't know the ABCD, right? So you need knowledge. A super mama sets out to seek knowledge. Seek knowledge on developmental milestones. That's when you'll be able to identify things like autism quite early. So sit, sit. Seek knowledge. Seek knowledge on even vaccination. What vaccination is for what? You know, some mothers ignore vaccination, which is very wrong. You should not ignore. And vaccination for babies should go up to five years of age. So if you're there watching this channel, your child is three, and you stopped taking them for vaccination, we are watching. Take your child for full vaccination. And you need knowledge for such kind of things. Don't ignore, by the way, you need knowledge. You need knowledge on what to even dress them. When? What to feed them, which is very important. You know, zero to two years of age is when you will decide the, the kind of child you will have for the rest of your life. In terms of brain capacity and decision, problem solving, decision making skills, things like those ones. You need knowledge of nutrition. By the way, tell me in the comment section, how well prepared are you for winning? Should we do a video on winning, on winning and nutrition for children? Super Mama Amy has knowledge like this. Ah! So tell me in the comment section. Another quality of a super mama is you participate fully in raising your child. A super mama does not delegate everything. Those of you who have house managers and nannies, you know, you've heard of the statement that if a child has pooped close to their mom and the mom is calling out for auntie, close, close, have you heard of such statements? I have come to tell you, super mama, a super mama participate. I will be doing a video of how to balance it with being a nanny. I don't have a nanny now, but I've had three, four nannies. <laughs> I will share with you my story of why I don't have a nanny. But lessons also which I've learned has motivated me to do another video on how to balance and also from talking to people. And one of the things you must set out to do is to participate. If your child poops next to you, super mama, rise up from your seat go and clean them up that way that girl who is helping you will respect you they'll not think that you cannot do it watch out for my video and let's share let's share okay so participate if it's cleaning the child wash the baby yourself you'll be able to see your body the baby the, your baby's body wash your baby yourself Feed them here and there. Participate. Go out and play with your baby. Yourself. Create time to play with your baby. Create time. If you're expressing milk, like I'll be showing you in the next vi in a few videos to come, how to express and store breast milk. 
and even store and use it later. Participate, create time because you are expressing because you are going out or something like that. Create time and participate in your child. Sing to them in your child's development. Sing and play with them. A super mama cannot delegate that. Okay? Okay? Are you listening? Have you heard? A super mama participates. Another quality is a super mama is a lifesaver. <laughs> it's your lifesaver. It's your bot. Not that one. You save for life. You cannot waste. And me, myself and I will be showing you how I've saved a few things here and there. You cannot save. You cannot waste. You should learn to save for you to teach your child how to save. Especially if you are in the category of people who are called hustlers or kiwango chachini. Those ones who are going to borrow 500 shillings from the hustlers fund. You will have to learn how to save. Save water. Save food. Save electricity. Save, 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 save. There's a lady I like. She's called Susie of Susie Homestead. Shout out to you, Susie. I hope to meet you one day. <laughs> Susie saves everything, including money for peanut butter. Yeah, and chicken and nini. And I've also learned how to make those things. So, a super mama is a lifesaver. You must learn to save. Save, save, save. Tell me if you consider yourself a super mama, if any of these qualities affect you, have touched you. If you consider yourself a super mama, tell me some of the qualities you think qualify to be of that of a super mama. Let's share, like, subscribe this content to this content, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye. Watch out for the next video. Today's videos, videos, videos.